Now we're ready for part two, decode the message in the music. To help us better understand the message behind Pharrell's music, we've enlisted the help of Dr. Jocelyn Wilson, a professor of hip hop studies and digital humanities in the School of Literature, Media and Communication at Georgia Tech. Dr. Wilson is a scholar in black media studies and she created a framework to help her students decode song lyrics to find the true meaning of an artist's lyrics. We will use her framework to help us better analyze Pharrell's lyrics so we can understand his message. As I play the video, write down what each letter in the rubric stands for on your document. So on your document, we're going to go to slide three, which is part two, and you'll see outcast listed here, and we'll see some definitions over here, and you're going to fill in this middle part as you watch the video. So once again, you'll, have, you'll want to have this part open as I have the video playing so you can fill in the blanks. My name is Joycelyn Wilson. I am an assistant professor of hip hop studies and digital media in the School of Literature, Media and Communication at Georgia Institute of Technology. I study hip hop for a few reasons. I am a fan of it. I'm a consumer of it. You know, I had the good fortune of growing up as part of what people would consider hip hop's first generation. And I take great pride in that. Within that teaching and learning, we get a lot of innovation. I mean, hip hop is a practice and a culture that is based on remixing and redesigning old ways of doing things or old ways of thinking. It's very much centered and rooted in innovation. So technology is that second pillar of hip hop. When I first started teaching how to measure for realness and authenticity, in the lyrics using those seven principles of my art that I just told you, I found that it was very difficult for students to remember those seven principles. So I took the outcast name as an outcast scholar and I remixed it. If you go to the first album, there is a song called True Dad. It's really not a song, it's a soliloquy, and it's written by Reuben Bailey. And it starts off saying, operating under the crooked American system too long. Outcast, pronounced outcast. He gives us the acronym of what the of what outcast means. To remix that, I said, okay, it's seven letters. Um, how do I take this and create a mnemonic device for students to use and to frame? as a analytical tool when measuring for certain sentiments in songs. So open-minded thinking was the first principle. The first thing you have to do when you're coming into hip hop is you have to have an open mind. You can't enter into the space of performance or even listening to hip hop without opening your mind up and kind of loosening your grip on certain ideas that you have about not only the culture but the people who create the music. So open-minded thinking. The question that we ask there for open-minded thinking is, when we're analyzing is basically, what is the song about? The U stands for uprightness. And what does it mean to be upright? Where in the song do you see evidence of doing the right thing, even when it's unpopular, or lack thereof? So it's doing the right thing in the song, even when it's not popular to do that. And then truth, that's the T. So truth telling, what truths are they telling in the song? Can we measure for that? What are the facts that are in the song? What are the facts that are in the message? Kinship, kinship is connection. Where do we see sentiments of family, community? Where do we see linkages in the song? But then also accountability. Where do we see accountability in the song? Sequence is one of my favorite ones. Because sequence is about order. Sequence is about this idea of where do you see having to do one thing first before you can get to the next thing. This idea of crawling before you walk. Now, if you notice I have these arrows going up and I'm using a pyramid on purpose because when the ancestors built the pyramid, there was a foundation. We can't do this analysis without the foundation of open-minded thinking. If a closed mind enters into this space, 
then we run the risk of stereotypes, we run the risk of inaccuracies, we run the risk of not gaining a clear message of what the song is about. So we begin with this notion of open-minded thinking, but hip hop is a spiritual endeavor. I know that it's been you know, profitable and it has all of these different industry components, but at the root of it, we're talking about a cottage industry that started from a group of youth trying to gain some sort of creative knowledge of self, this notion of being and loving oneself. So in a hip hop performance world, it's a spiritual endeavor, endeavor, not a religious one, because at the end of the day, what we want to know is how is love being taught in the song? How, what is the um, element of love? We're talking about agape love here. Like, where is the messaging around um, how the rapper or how the writer expresses love towards their listener? And I would argue that Entrepreneur has all of that in it, and we'll see it in just a minute. So before I wrap up, I want to keep something in mind as you, under, as, you, as you think about this. You have to understand two things. The fundamental pillars of hip hop are pedagogy, technology. They have to work together. Hip hop is always remixing something, and they remix in order to teach. Part of the art of teaching and learning in hip hop is this ability to manipulate technology to create new ways of looking at the world. So the outcast imagination is a design model, design model and an analytical tool that allows us to measure for the sentiments in the messages so that we can use that information to create lesson plans like we're doing right now. Thank you. So I'm gonna focus in on this slide right here that's gonna remind you what each of those stands for. So the O, open-minded thinking, the U, uprightness, the T, truth-telling, the K, kinship, the A, accountability, the S, sequence, and the T is for teaching love. There's a recap of it right there. If you need to include that in your notes, I'll pause for a second and let you get your notes all caught up. 